Greetings, friends. I'm here with my grandpa, Robert, 102 years old, again. If I'm interrupting him, just deal with it. That's kind of natural that I'm going to interrupt you sometimes because it I, helps It helps maintain the I flow would, of the conversation. I would like you to interrupt me even more because I'm not... Uh, I suspect that I will not be able to maintain right. a continuous uh, talk or judgment or whatever. Right, yeah. So, so a lot of people tell me to stop interrupting you, but they don't see the whole picture. Because actually I cut out, I do a lot of editing, so I compress the video so that in, instead of a whole hour it only takes 40 minutes, all the long pauses and all that. So. Uh, if I'm sitting back in the show, if I feel like I'm farther away from the camera and yeah. I'm like I'm farther away from you. So that's why it's like I don't always have this terrible posture is what I'm no. trying to say. I don't always like slouch all the time. That's, but anyways. That's fine. So what are your concerns about my future? Well, my concerns is that, uh, well, one basic word, yeah, uh, you are not employed. Present. But I have companies in Ghana with my friend Paul. Yeah, I realize that and uh, uh, that uh, part of the subject uh, I may not be uh, very correct or very right or, or what, but uh, it is my thinking and uh, everyone's thinking and views have been built up through their own lives from the childhood until today. What are your main worries for my future? Or you, you know... My main worry about your future is the, uh, is the fact that uh, you are not working. You don't have a steady work like uh, in any uh, working place where you work. Uh, day in, day out. That's right. And that is my concern. 18 years of age, of age is the start of one's complete life, if you consider the, the part when you uh, came out of school, uh, let's say around 18 or 20 years of age, when you had to start your own independent life where you have to earn your living, make your arrangements uh, and not just uh, like in the common sense of earning a living, also forming your life, thinking about that at some point uh, one will get married, will form a family, will proceed through the uh, long years of your age, from uh, situation to situation, but all connected in uh, one sort of main line which goes right through your life, which is earning your living. Right, but I have uh, business ventures in Ghana. Yes, I know that. I don't know the details, but I think it is a good, how to say it? Uh, uh, investment? Uh, yeah, it, it, it is a good event. You have uh, arranged already for, uh, for some years for things to happen. Uh, you've been active in uh, managing parts of the, the uh, happening and uh, have reasonably good results. I started working when I was 18, in the middle of my education. Part of my time was devoted to, uh, to the practical side of life, which everyone has and has to have. That is working, working to earn a living. I also want to make enough money over there to uh, earn a living. And I know your memory isn't so good, but I've explained to you what 
my businesses are over there uh, numerous times. Farming rice, different things related to agriculture, yeah. agricultural commodities, oh, I, I go, trading. I know that very well because I come from a country which basically is uh, employed in agriculture. Yeah, so there's no need to worry because I'm going to be on a pretty good path. I am on a good path. Well, uh, maybe... And, and why, should I, why should I work here in Canada when I have companies overseas that I expect to be playing a role in? I just haven't had a chance to go back yet because Paul was injured. He had to get better. And there's been different stuff going on over there that it wasn't a, a good time for me to go back. Well, so uh, I didn't but, know. I didn't know that you had uh, sort of plans of uh, as soon as... No, I, uh, I've told you, but you don't remember. But yes, no. I hope to go back. I've hoped to go back for a long time. It's been extremely frustrating to me to be sitting around Toronto. Oh, I, and, did, uh, I, I didn't know that. It's uh, like I could get a job here, but then what kind of job would that be? Probably a very low-level job. I had a language school as a business for a few years. That didn't do well. It was a learning experience, but otherwise, I mean, I would have to probably go back to school to study something practical I because don't. I've set my future on on these businesses in Ghana and and so you know it's been frustrating to have to wait to go back because it's been almost three years it has been practically three years so I didn't know that you were planning to uh, well of course uh, to go yeah, back go back uh, does that mean that going back that you plan to uh, settle down there? Yeah, I mean, I could live there for a time. I mean, I could split my time between Toronto and, uh, and Ghana. Well, I have to leave, there leave all be, my time there. There will be no reason to split your time. Uh, although, uh, I like that portion when you say to live in Canada. I take it uh, when you say go back to uh, Ghana, that uh, it means you will leave Canada as your home country uh, and go, uh, go back to Ghana, slowly build up your life there and uh, eventually also end it there. Mm, mm, uh, that's... I don't think that'll happen. But well, well, all right. I think Ghana Let's... will always be like a second home for me. That's my hope. That's my dream. And the first home? Will be Canada. Yeah, well... Or at least a Western the only, country. The only thing is that yeah. uh, all the reasons for your life uh, will be in Ghana. None of it in Canada. And, uh, Why? I can still have friends in Canada. I would like to start a business in Canada with, with money which I make in Ghana. Well, that is a good... Uh, so I will have something tying me here because you can start a business and then you can be playing a role in it but you, might not have, you don't have to be there all the time. Now, what that business would be, I don't know. I mean, uh, I would like to employ local Canadians, not uh, foreigners, because I'm already employing Ghanaians in Ghana. That's good for Ghana. That's good for Ghanaians. I like Ghanaians. But then I want to do something for the Canadian culture as well. Well, but uh, if you will... I take it uh, what you said now, that you will change the direction of your life, uh, leaving Canada and settling down completely in why is Ghana. It, why is it this troublesome for you, this idea of settling, like where am I going to settle? Like people can have connections to other countries. They can have no. stuff going on in other no. countries. No. And then they, they, 
No. They still have one home in their home country, but they spend time in other countries. Lo no, lots of people do no, that. No, no. Usually what that, do you mean? Won that won't work. Uh, you see, another big point uh, in this is... No, I... Well, sure, go ahead. You see, I think so, that uh, you are now 30 years old. I'm 32, actually. 32. I'm almost 33. Well, there you are, you see. And uh, I, I personally, I think that, that that's a very, very high time to build the foundation of your personal life. And that involves getting married. That involves uh, trying to get married, which is not easy for a guy like me, because there's so many factors. Yeah. Obviously, you believe in love and marriage, romantic love, and marriage, or or whatever I mean, romantic, whatever that is. But but I, I tend not to believe in it as this supreme goal so much. But I understand ma marriage is necessary for civilization. So I have to admit, like we need we need people to get married to have civilization. But the problem is that oh, no. it's hard it's hard to find a good woman these days. I don't think and so. And even if there were good women, even if I was living in a time when there were more good women available, not, no. I mean, female nature is always what it Pe is. People I, get married. But I, I still don't know if I would get married even if it was like the Middle Ages. I might be a monk. No. <laughs> you will never, you will never have a complete life and complete is uh, in a different uh, meaning, in a much larger meaning. Uh, you will never have splitting between, uh, between t not only two, uh, two countries, between two continents, because the distances, the people, the people's characters, all, all they are thousands of items. I think you're overreacting a little bit, but I understand your main point is like for marriage or family life, having activities in a foreign country would make it more difficult yeah. for marriage or family life. That's that's what yeah. you're trying to say. That's right. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That, that it could. It certainly could. Uh, it's true that probably for many or most people, marriage equals ha a happy life. Um, I don't think that has to be the case for everyone. What about, I mean, that wasn't the case for... You're not really a religious person. Uh, no, not But that wasn't the case for some people in the Bible, like Jesus Christ did no, not marry. No, we don't have to uh, involve... Or, 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 or some of the apostles who spread, no, sure who spread the word yeah. of no, no, uh, no, God no, no, and no, Jesus. No. They, they did not marry. Paul the Apostle did not marry, but I don't are, think you know who that is. They are not in that category. They I'm not are. trying to say that to not marry you have to be this important holy person, but the Bible gives examples. It's not like what the Apostles did is only for them and not for everyone else. They're trying to, like, if they can be Christian, then they're showing how everyone else can be. And there's well, not just one well, way to live your life. life. There are certain ways, there are certain uh, principles. It, uh, the two, but that doesn't mean everyone has to live the exact same life. The two items, like uh, 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 being a Christian and uh, and and Christians and, generally, and how to live, Christians tend to get not, married. Is is outside uh, outside our discussion? No, we live in a Christian civil. We what was used to be a you Christian be, civilization. It's not so Christian anymore. You can be one or both, or here or there or anywhere. Uh, that uh, that we should leave out. Marriage is something which uh, humanity has developed, which is really the very very foundation of life. Uh, yeah, I, I I agree. It has to be. Uh, and uh, but you don't need all men to uh, marry to to continue your civilization. You need a certain, you need enough of them. You need enough men uh, reproducing. And, and, and the best way to do that is through marriage. I agree. But that doesn't mean that all men must follow that path. 
many men would die in the past, or they would become, well, or they would well, go, they would join the army, or they would go all overseas. All natural events uh, will uh, follow their way. It really ties you down a but, lot uh, to be married. It's going to tie you down, and that's fine if you're happy raising kids, and that's great. But it's like, it's really going to tie you down. And well, I don't believe, freedom is not the ultimate answer too. But I just think that, can't I contribute to society in some other way, apart from being married? Yes. No, yes, one, no one wants to die alone. Because no one wants to die marriage, alone. marriage is not but, limiting you to, uh, to certain uh, uh, views or, or where you should live. No, marriage is something which is uh, 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 which is uh, built in here in your in your body in your heart in your head i would like to say that life has a uh, foundation okay a foundation okay. is uh, has developed i mean there are, right it's developed uh, there'll be yes. hundreds hundred or, or thousands of reasons how it developed right. and and what purpose, but we have found all over the globe, all over the world that uh, well, actually, in some marriage is something uh, not all not all cultures uh, practice uh, arrangement which uh, uh, which allows you to develop your your own personality. Okay, uh, Grandpa, Grandpa. Let's say I agree with you. I should get married. Yeah. M many of the audience watching thinks that I should listen to you on this topic, and you're absolutely right. And I, but I mean, okay, let's for a, the sake of argument, let me agree with you. Okay, I want to get married. So what? Do, how am I going to get married? What am I going to do? Huh. No, well, there are no uh, no prescribed rules. You just. Uh, you just have to mix in the world with where there are women and men and that has a habit. One man and one one a woman staying together and producing kids. This yeah. is this most this is good for civilization. Yeah. But many cultures have developed uh, polygamy or polyandry. Polygamy is uh, where one man can have multiple wives. And that's common in parts of Africa and the, Mo in the Muslim world, which is a lot, lot, of, lot of the world. And then there's, there's certain parts of the world where one woman can have uh, multiple uh, husbands. Well, I and, and those civilizations don't turn out the same way as ours. And that's not good. I'm just saying, you're not, it's not all. I'm just throwing that in I there. Don't, I don't. Not to say that I disagree with your main point. I don't want to even discuss, let's say, I want... To, uh, Look, the main, uh, yeah. that we assume. Let's assume uh, I want. Let's assume I want to get married. Our 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 lives, everyone's here, in this town, in the world, yeah, have born in uh, what is life, what is the rhythm, and uh, what is the ritual of of uh, of a life. Well, and, you learn and, you learn and, a lot of that from culture. Some of it you're born with, some of it you learn from your friends and your community. Let's say I want to get married. It's not easy for a guy like me because y you would assume that I, I need to find a white a white woman to marry. Yeah, yeah. But this is Toronto. All the white women are they're not going so much for white men. They're going for brown guys or or uh, Arabs or Latinos. Because white, white guys, especially an average white guy like me, we're not so attractive to the white women. If you go through the city and you look and you go to bars and you look, you see white women are attracted to blacks, uh, South Asians, like Indians, Bangladeshis, Pakistanis. Women are, white women are, are going for uh, uh, they are other the, races. No. Yes, they are. It's totally yeah. happening. And, yeah. okay, so this is what's going on. If I was a white man and I wanted to have a good chance of attracting a white woman, I would have to be, like, really strong and, like, really buff, like a, a strong man. Like, no. Then they would be maybe attracted to me, but that, might, that wouldn't work in Toronto. That would only work in maybe outside Toronto 
in a more of a rural community. Because in Toronto, women are all, they're all, they're going for other, white women are going for other races because they're, they want other races because that's how they've been programmed. But, and that, let, let me finish. And then the ones, the white guys they are choosing are actually very uh, soft men. So I don't think I'm very highly masculine or, or, or highly uh, weak. I just think I'm an average guy. I'm yeah. just an average guy in the middle. Yeah. I have enough self-respect, yeah. but that's not enough. Oh, that is enough. No, it's not enough. I, it's, I, and I, I'm, not going, I'm not going to lose my dignity playing a rat race. Do you know what a rat race is? You make the rats run and they're not, you know, it's just a silly, uh, it's like yeah, the rats yeah. are not going to get much in no, the end. No, 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 no. I don't know where you Well, going. how did you get your wife? You were in a, a displaced persons camp in Germany after the war ended, well, right? We, well, we, we, we met. We met someplace, uh, we met in, a, in our ordinary life. Uh, and why do you think she chose you and why did you choose her? Because there were no reasons asked. We developed uh, somehow an attractment. At, an attraction. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, but, but she didn't have many other options because She's in a displaced persons camp for, mo what, Latvians in Germany, in a I, allied, allied control. So it's not a good situation. It's and not, I was there. Too. A lot of the men probably in, a lot of Latvian men probably died during the war. Yeah. So you admit that. So that, that's going to increase your, your, your options. Why? Because there's less co competition for you. Because you're, think of it, she recognizes that you're smart, she recognizes that you're an engineer. You're going to no. have, you're probably going to have no. a good future. No. You're going to have, no. be able to provide no. for her offspring. No. I think, uh, I think uh, when young people... I'm not pe saying that the attraction people, is there, it is when, there. When young people meet... Uh, well, you weren't uh, so young uh, anymore, you were already what? You were already uh, 30 years old or so? No, I was... Uh, well, you were born in 16, so 26, 36, 1945, okay, so you're about 29 years old. Yeah, yeah. And how old was she? When was she born? She was a couple of years younger. Okay, so she's in her late 20s, so you're not so young anymore. But anyways... It doesn't matter. You can have an attraction but that doesn't mean she's going to choose you. Women can have an attraction. They can find some guy attractive and, uh, oh, he's big and strong or, oh, he's kind of cute. But that doesn't mean they're it, going to choose him. They want to choose They want to choose someone that they can control. It, no. Because we live in a different kind of society than no, what you grew up no, in. No, in this no, society no. now, women are at the top. They have all the power. So they, they're the ones who are... No. Control, no, no, often no. controlling. Uh, it sounds to me that you are afraid of, uh, of being, uh, being uh, sort of. Uh, I even can't think of the right word. Afraid of, of uh, perhaps legal trouble or uh, from being with a woman. I mean, no. do you know if you sleep with a woman and she re regrets sleeping with you? Then she can call the police and say that you raped her. And then the police will arrest you, or, or you will, at least you have to go through a big headache. And it can tarnish your career. When you develop real love. But it doesn't matter because I'm not even looking for that stuff because it's so ridiculous out there. If I want to get married, I have to leave Toronto. I have to go to a small town. So Why? I have to leave the city. Why? Because the city is Babylon. <coughs> it's going to no. sink into the sea. What do you it's mean? It's a cursed city. Do people in Toronto... Uh, uh, people in this city are just very... Don't, un they, don't, like, they I mean, get, like, don't they get in love? Love is just a passing feeling. A romantic no, love no, is no, just no, a no. passing feeling. No, no. Love. It's a real feeling. It's a real feeling, but... Uh, what you had with Carmen was companionship, companionship. No. And that's healthy and that's good. No, 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 you no. You can never explain what love is. She was a young girl, I was a young man, and uh, somehow I'm not trying but to explain... But there's nothing there, it's just sand. It's sand. I'm not trying like to explain sands. the mysteries of... Uh, that feeling exists that is, that to make is. the man attached to the woman. 
that for, is, for good reason. That's that fine. That is very, very substantial. Yeah, it's a substantial feeling, but mm -hmm. I, you're not feeling that five or ten years later. What you're feeling is a content uh, love for your wife, but that love is not romantic love. It's like a companionship. Because I'm providing for my wife, when I, when and uh, I, you have a sexual attraction I, to her. I, fine. When I met Carmen and we became uh, known to each other and so on, slowly we, we built attraction. We were more and more attracted. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, which is a nice. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's I I'm don't have any trying, disagreement with that. We're I'm talking about we're talking that. about two different things here. I'm just saying this notion of being in love is made for our 20th century commercial culture. It was often encouraged by advertising. Women are the main consumers. Women buy two thirds of all products or more. Love caters to them. No. Women don't. Women also don't love men the way men love women. Women are easy to get on no, no, yeah. after a relationship is over. No, completely I don't accept any of your arguments. But you don't have much experience with women to base your, your worldview well, on. Well, yes, yes, I had uh, uh, relationships with, sure, uh, sure. with other uh, girls. Yeah, or, I had a relationship with them. Yeah. Be before, before we met uh, before Carmen and uh, myself got uh, acquainted, I can't explain, uh, nobody else can, why we became attracted. That's just a name, that's a secret of nature. Yeah, but it could have happened with some other woman. It would not have just been her. If you no, were in... it didn't happen. Well, that, yes, we know it didn't happen, but theoretically, hypothetically, if you were in a different camp, you would have met some other Latvian woman, or you would have gone to England, you probably would have met yeah. some English or yeah. some Latvian yeah. in England. Yeah. You would have met someone else. Yeah. So there's nothing and, and, There's and, nothing special that and, it had to and be. And the it same didn't, it result didn't, would have been. Yeah, of course, of course, I'm not denying that. But it, didn't ha it did not have to be Carmen. It could have been some other woman. Yeah, it could so have there's been. So nothing, there's nothing really so special about Carmen. No, no, no. Okay, fair enough. The specialty is that we met and we liked each other. Right, right, and right. That, that's enough to explain. Right, but I'm just trying to say that times yeah. are very different now. No, the same, same. No, 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 uh, no, 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 no. I saw lots of women and uh, Carmen did see lots of men uh, but Women back then were expected to find a husband and start producing but, kids. Uh, Did she ever work? Yeah. Carmen. Did she work real jobs? Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. like that could support a family? Well, uh, the family... <laughs> family... Was right, paid. right. Uh, she did some, some part-time jobs. Some small jobs. <laughs> she did big jobs. What also. did she do? Wait a minute, I would have to think, but Carmen was, I don't think she did too uh, much. Uh, uh, well, big or small, she was regularly uh, employed. I was regularly employed, not necessarily at the time when we met. Well, you only, had, we had, you only had one kid, so it's not like she had her hands full. Well, but I'm just saying that, that look, that's not there's no idea. way she, she was producing enough money to... To, no, uh, no, no. to pay for the house and no, really, uh, no. that was coming from your paycheck which is the historical norm is that the man provides the paycheck well uh, the man pays for everything which main, is fine well but today things are different or the main part right yes. right but today yes, things are different women are out earning men in many fields today because women are favored in anything with any institution government, many corporate jobs too, corporate office jobs. The women are, are promoted very easily in universities. No. Most, most, univer most university students are female because that they're, ex they're promoted and, and it's not because men are, are less capable. In fact, men are generally smarter than women, wouldn't you say? No. You no. got to admit that though, come on. How are women, how are women smarter than men? Are you no. serious? Can you name me one thing that women have invented? Invented? Invented, a, a new invention. Women have not invented anything. 
So it, if you want to say they're smarter than men, then you're going to have to say some strange category of intelligence. No, I they're, don't. They're, I don't. they're terrible artists. Have you ever seen I, paintings produced I by women? They're awful. Say, I don't say all those things. They are wrong who say women are smarter or men are smarter. Men are, men are smarter than women on average. Uh, that, that's obvious. If you have well, women running your society, your society well, is going to collapse. Is, that is and that's how, what's happening right now. That's what has developed uh, uh, industry and so on. It has no real reasons in here. I'm not quite sure what you mean by that, but we can we can just let that pass. But I, I don't. There's no convincing you on on that particular point. But but look, men, they're the, they're the, they're stronger than women. They're smarter. They're more forward thinking. They can plan. Women are more like children. They're closer to children. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But that's too complex. But <laughs> but why? Why that is important uh, uh, in our discussion? Yeah, we get we, well. It, we kind of got it off. Ain't, it ain't. Important. We kind of got off topic on on the similar topic of love and marriage and uh, and. Uh, but I'm trying to explain to you how I see the whole marriage thing. I agree. We do need enough men marrying. I agree. But I grew up in a liberal culture for one thing, so I didn't I didn't become a conservative until. Well, only only a few years ago. Even even conservative or uh, liberal. No, liberals don't have as many kids. Uh, liberals doesn't, don't have as many kids. I know matter. I know liberal. Uh, most of the people doesn't I matter most of the people discussion. I most of the people I knew growing growing up uh, that got married are or you know most of the people I knew growing up are, are liberal because I grew up in Toronto no, which is liberal uh, it, but most of them that got married they don't have kids yet they may have kids a lot of uh, people pop out a kid in their 30s now because the, the women start to realize that their biological clock is ticking and because a woman becomes infertile by the age of 40 or, or, or you know roughly so then, when she's 35 or 36, she realizes, like, oh, I only have, t I'm running out of time, I have, to, I have to have a kid. So then they only end up with, like, one kid, or at most two kids. Well, <laughs> that's a difficult subject, but uh, I don't think that all of, all of these <laughs> things matter. If I want to go out there, I'm going to have to go on websites and contact, like, hundreds and hundreds of women and I'll, I might get a response from a few. Like I just, I tried this once for like a few months and I'm like, I'm not doing that again because I have too much dignity. I don't, I could not care less. I could not care less because women naturally seek the top 10% of men, 10, 20% of men in status. They want high status men. So I don't have the status. I, I have to have a house and a car to attract women. I don't no, have that right now. I might have that in the future, but then I'll be older. No, I'll be, you know, like, you know, I'll already be approaching depends, forty. Depends uh, in what society you live. Yeah, uh, it does. It does. Uh, it does depend on what society. In town or or out in the country, uh, the question of marriage uh, is independent. Uh, it doesn't matter the reasons. I mean, they are the same. Well, you may say it's a good idea Down to get married, anywhere, but... The, uh, to, in the most depressed areas, as the most advantaged areas, the same thing works, which is outside these factors. Yes, that is, that's how it developed, you know, millions and millions of years ago. Would you consider yourself to have a Christian worldview? Are you influenced by Christianity no. at all? No? No. But you you believe in some Christian ideas, like you be, you believe in God. Oh yeah. You believe in very, lo life very, after death. Very much uh, in. Uh, uh, you believe in life af life after death. Some form of life continues after death. Uh, yeah, of which we have not the slightest idea. And uh, you you believe in the de some kind of devil, some kind of evil, evil force. Well, uh, you've said that before. Like uh, it, it is natural. Uh, it, like uh, good or evil, in everything in nature, things 
That's go very... from this to that. Right, okay. To that, to that. It's just, that's not uh, very Christian, but... Uh, that's just happening. So. What I'm getting at is that you must acknowledge that Latvia and Europe was Christian for hundreds of years, for over a thousand years. Yeah. You must acknowledge that that shaped the culture and the society. Yeah, 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 yeah. It shaped marriage to a, to a, and the family to a large degree. Well, well, yeah. My, you know, in the Bible it says, part, in uh, the Bible it says that women should obey their husbands. Did you know that? No, and uh, and that uh, is. Did you find that surprising? And that uh, I, uh, uh, it's ridiculous. Uh, really? Yeah. Why is that ridiculous? Well, because it's not true. You don't and, think it's true that women should obey their husbands? And there is no. No, no, uh, not the slightest reason for... Uh, what? Really? Yeah. What if she wants to spend they, all the money on something they silly? They have to be... So you, they're a team, not, they're equals. Not in the way you are saying. What? Uh, I just said literally uh, what it women, says. Uh, women should listen to men. Men should listen to women. Okay, and, all right. Well, yeah, I don't have any problem with and, that. Uh, and the same thing... There is no yes. no advantage or disadvantage. Uh, this has all naturally developed, like our thinking. No, I don't think that's naturally developed. I think what's naturally developed, and I don't I don't believe in evolution, but things do. Oh, things uh, things do develop over time. I don't want to get off topic. We can come right. back. We can come back to that. But but if what has developed is that men have the final say. The woman says this, the man listens and says, okay, so that's your viewpoint, I appreciate that, but here's my viewpoint. And then the woman listens to that and says, okay, well, you know, that's fine, but I actually think this. But then the man says, okay, we've discussed, and this is what we're doing. This, we're, we're, uh, we're spending the money on this, or we're sending, are, we're sending the kids to this school. Are, we're not sending are, them to that school. There are many, many happenings. It's in not life. a partnership. That, that proves what you say. Just as many happenings which disprove, which show the other way. Well, women have a lot of power, a social gossip power. They gossip behind, well, you know, yeah, and then that, that influences that's the man. individual individual one but you have, the man the man has to be in charge of the family and he has to be there has to be a man leading your country a real man and we don't have a man right now because we have Justin Trudeau and he's very he's like a woman uh, yeah. he's like a, a gay man he's the, kind of like a gay man I would say that uh, intellectually both of them are equal to be that position or that position the main idea is that even if I wanted to get married, yeah. I wouldn't have a very good chance. I could probably get an African girl or maybe an East Asian girl, but then we would why, have why we would you, have mixed race babies. Why do you are you a fan that? of are you a fan of interracial relationships? I what? Do you think it's a good idea that people mix their genes with that different races produce oh. produce uh, produce mixed race well. uh, Offspring? I, I don't know, uh, but... What if I did that? But this, uh, this is what naturally happened. Where? Millions of years ago. Well, <laughs> there's... Uh, and still, it's still happening today. A race does not play uh, any uh, deciding role. You would prefer that I, I marry a white woman and have white, white yeah. offspring, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah. As opposed to an African woman or a Chinese oh, woman. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, that, doesn't I, that contradict you then? Doesn't uh, that no, contradict no, what you're trying no, to say? No, no, because uh, the chances of uh, peaceful and well behaving and lay uh, is uh, natural. That's how we developed. We developed, of, uh, there were times when we were not around. Where, but uh, you're not. You're, I don't understand. You're saying two different. You're saying it's natural for races to mix, but then it's natural for races not to mix. You're saying, you're saying two different things. But that maybe it's hard for you because it's hard for your memory. Well, uh, okay. It's immaterial anyhow. Okay. Let me just come back to something. Uh, 
we've we've discussed this before, but but you understand that whites are shrinking in Canada, in Toronto, they're shrinking. What is shrinking? White people, European background people. Less than fifty percent of the population in Toronto is white. Yeah. Well, I've told you this before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's it's really uh, my fact that I am one of them. Yeah, guides me and my thinking in certain directions. I like white race better than than the white uh, than the black race. Yeah, and uh, it may be opposite. Right. Uh, with, uh, no, I think well, race. yeah. I mean, ideally, all races should not hate each other, should like yeah. enough, at least respect each other, but then you understand that you can't just mix all the races together and expect to have peace. Well... Uh, like in large uh, numbers, in large percentages. Well, uh, if it is artificial mixture, then I object to it. Right. If, if it is sort of a natural yeah. way, then, then, it is, uh, yeah. then it is natural. Like yeah. when I go to Ghana, there's some Ghanaians that don't like that a white man has a business in Ghana because they see me as a threat. They see me as someone who wants to, that, wants that to may, exploit them. That may be true. That's bad. Well, you know it's not true of me. <laughs> right? no, I'm not trying to ruin Ghana. I like Ghana. No, no, no. Uh, but you understand there's people who have that, that, uh, that mindset. Uh, yeah, yeah, because right. uh, other factors sort of uh, tend to lead to the point that is uh, because of he's white or he's black. You know, there's not going to be many white people going to Ghana. That's going to be very, 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 very low. There's more Chinese. There's Chinese going well, to Africa. Well, there's Chinese making small colonies in Africa. Well, uh, it is because Chinese are too many in Ghana are enough place for more to come in. Well, they, they come over as engineers and work in miners and... Uh, you know, they work in certain factories and industries because they have more uh, technical experience yeah. that the Africans yeah. don't have. Yeah. I don't know about Ghana, but in places like Zambia and other yeah. parts of Africa. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but, but the Chinese, I don't think they're going to mix with the Africans. They're going to bring over their Chinese wives and they're going to have Chinese children. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's and, what normally happens. And, 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 and that is, uh, to my mind, also that should happen like that. That's natural. It's not natural for races to mix. Yeah. yeah. But you seem to be saying that they can mix. When you were uh, living in Canada, did you ever live next to a neighborhood that was, was not white? Did you ever live next to a Chinese neighborhood or a black neighborhood? No. Did you ever have experience with people who were not white. Did you ever have experience? No. No? But you have some views. You have some opinion. You must have well, had some experience. I am mixed yeah. in that sense like everyone else has mixed. Uh, occasionally, right. uh, on a meeting or right. doing business or whatever. Uh, certain groups of people lived in that corner Certain group right. lived in yeah. that corner. They got used to the conditions there, than uh, than those. They, uh, you know, which is again natural. <laughs> we we discussed a lot of lot of uh, this. Uh, uh, we had a lively discussion. We did, yeah, we did. We disagreed about things that I knew we were going to disagree anyways. I just thought it would be more fun to have more of a, you know, kind of an arg, you know, sort of an argument discussion. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, no, it's more no. entertaining. Basically, we agree. As, uh, yeah. It, it, it is sometimes like one is a different color or something else, you know. Do you ever drink water very often? Because I drink water several times. Do you want any? Uh, I, I do drink water. I have my own uh, in a little bottle. Okay. I guess there's nothing else to say for our audience. 
Uh, well, thank you, friends, again, for watching us or listening. We appreciate it. Do you have anything to say to them, like, thank you for watching, or...? Oh, thank you. As a matter of fact, I didn't know that you were watching, but now that I know... Well, I told you, but you forgot. I would never I do anything dishonest. Yeah. I would never dishonestly do that. Yeah. I told you, but you forgot. Yeah, that's right. But in, in any case, thank you for listening.